Wilson, I've been sending this out to you guys about this water situation and uh, I sent you some graphs and everything and what really is happening. This came up seven or eight months ago when we were all talking about uh, Timmy was in here about the money to be saved from the billing process and I think he was saying that's what, $28,000 or something like that. Uh, and we started talking about a two-month billing deal and there was some discussion about people having the ability to pay and concerned about their elder, which that is a very important thing. So I had, um, then in my discussion with Renee, she was talking about uh, the lines from the, uh, the counter all the way to the front door, those kind of things. So if we start thinking about these processes and all, what can we do about that? Why is that happening? So I got her to give me all the water billings for 2009 and eight by date and uh, started doing a little analysis of that. And of course, I sent you the graphs. <clears throat> this is 2009, and this one right here, this is all types. We get three types of bills. We get credit card, we get mail-in, and we get over the counter, and over the counter that. And this is the activity that happened during that time period. So if you wanted to be sick, what day would you guys be sick? Well, you're not you, allowed to be sick on the 15th and 16th yeah, which one all, you to be sick? Okay. <laughs> 2010. That's the same type deal. Yeah. Which one would you choose? Okay. Now this is, this is all collection of money. But this one right here represents the people that actually come in to pay their bill at the window. Same type scenario. So what can you do about this to improve this? It's pretty nice if you were the billing if you were the billing clerk, would you like this if you had to work on the fifteenth? Can you go all the school semesters? That's what I like to do. Next, <laughs> next, everybody. Both. Everybody. Okay. The next next thing you, is you, you start asking yourself a, a few things about that. What can I do to improve the process and everything? So when you start thinking about the billing, the two month billing, but there are some other things and I have run these analysis on it and everything. If you, if you change the process a little bit and you went to um, something similar to this and, it, and just for instance, like let's say February, if we were to take 25% of the bills by all the customers, 25% would be on February the 4th, which is a Friday. 25% would do, be due on February 11th, the next Friday. 25% would be due on the 18th, and 25% on the 25th. Now, these people that are coming to the county, as well as the mail-ins, you, you kind of level out the process flow that comes in and do that. Now, this causes a change at the beginning because they're all due on the 15th. So one group's going to get a bill that's two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks the first time, but then you get on the one-month cycle if we want to stay with a one-month one month thing. Now what does this do? It's a steady cash flow, it's a better cash flow, better customer service. And not only that, it's a stable workload for the posting clerk, and it provides an opportunity for better productivity that she might could even participate to get on the phone and call some of these delinquent taxpayers and say, hey, you owe me some money, and, and I will receive you. And that's one option that we could do by doing that. That does not change the uh, burden on any person as far as paying money. Now, have we saved any money in this process? No, absolutely not. Everything's the same. You just changed the process and made it more smooth and easier to process and improve customer service. You probably don't have that long line at the, door, at the window out there and the clerk in here doing I did have one. Do we respond scan the bill with a barcode? <coughs> or do they have to manually crunch it? With the water bill, we have that capability, but they have never been able to do it before. Yeah. So, <coughs> and that's something we need to work on because now to bring the bill and you stick it under the barcode and pull it up, they can't, you just punch in the main page. So, that's something, a time saving thing. The second thing thinking about is to go to what Timmy says and start saving some money. And what you do there, you change, you take the groups and break them up into two groups, 50% groups, and you start building the cycles on a two-month cycle. You've got a certain group of people that pay on January and on March. You've got a certain group of people that pay on February and April on this two-month cycle. 
and what you do now, then you have really changed that, and especially the incorporated do on Fridays. So now you're really breaking that matrix down of the process flow down very minimal at best. There again, you start saving money, real money. Now the next thing is, is and Timmy made the uh, comment about saving time for his people that he felt X number of dollars would be saved. That's true, but that's a supervisory thing. That's not that. It depends on how well you supervise your people and whatever. Obviously, it would free up their time to do all the things that we have if they have repairs and things like that that we need. Now, then you start addressing, if you go to the two-month building, the question that came up, and I think Carlton was pretty adamant about this and worried about the people that pay in the bill. And I remember, what was Mr. Astor Taylor? Uh, Ashley Stewart. Yeah, made a comment, yeah. and which was pretty good. I mean, don't shortchange people. But what you do then, if you send out that water bill and it's got two coupons in it, then you don't you take the burden off the county as far as putting that burden on, the, put it back on the taxpayer. How do you want to pay? You can tear off this little first thing and send me half of the money for the bill, and you can send me half the second month. So you could send it to me twice if you wanted to, or you could wait and pay the whole bill when it's due in two months whichever way. So now you, you've taken the opportunity that the taxpayer makes that choice, what I want to do. Now if he skips that payment, you know, uh, and some people will do that, say, well, I got a few extra dollars and they won't do that. And that could become a problem. But I really think you are insulting the intelligence of people if they got something. Therefore, they got an opportunity and a choice. <coughs> now these, this is real <coughs> dollars saved. As Thomas, as uh, Timmy said, about fifteen thousand dollars that we can do just by changing that process. And uh, and the main thing that I want to see, and, I, and this is very important, consistency in any process is uh, you want to be very consistent in productivity and see that you don't like these up and down cycles. When I was working, I could take and almost take and tell you from charts and graphs 